Hi my dear children, good morning. Hope you are all fine. In our last history class, we had learned about the new constitution of France. The constitution in 1791. The constitution of 1791. As per the new constitution, the power of the monarch will be limited. France became a constitutional monarchy. Everything solved with that? What do you think? No. The situation in France continued to be tense during the following years. Louis XVI was uh, very much worried about his present condition. Even though he agreed, though Louis XVI had signed the constitution, he entered into secret negotiation with the king of Prussia. The rulers of other neighboring countries too were worried by the developments of France and made plans to send troops to put down the events that had been taking place there since the summer 1789. The rulers of the neighboring countries had thought that this type of change or wave of change or protest from the side of the people may come to their country or their area also. They too were worried. At last, the news reached in the ears of the members of the National Assembly. What news? King Louis XVI has made a secret negotiation with the, the King of Prussia and Prussia may attack France at any time. What did the National Assembly do when they heard this news? National Assembly voted in April 1792 to declare war against Prussia and Austria. Before this could happen, the National Assembly voted in April 1792 and declared war against Prussia and Austria. Thousands of people from different parts of the country, from different provinces joined the army. They gathered together in order to join the army, the army of France, without any external influence. They were ready to join the army. They, the people, saw this war as a war of the people against the kings and aristocracies all over Europe. The revolutionary wars brought losses and economic difficulties to the people, especially to women. It was their duty to look after the family. While the men were away fighting at the front, women were left to cope with the tasks of earning a living and looking after their families. Large sections of the population were convinced that the revolution had to be carried further as the constitution of 1791 gave political rights only to the richer sections of the society. Many people at that time in France had believed that the constitution of 1791 had a defect. What was that defect? Political rights were given only to the richer sections of the society. In order to clear or the rectify the defect, this revolution should be continued. People began to discuss about this. Political clubs were formed in different parts. This political club became an important rallying point for the people who wished to discuss government policies and plan their own forms of actions. It worked as a platform for the people in order to discuss their views and issues uh, towards the government. The most successful of this club was the Jacobin Club. It got its name from the former convent of Saint Jacob in Paris. The members of the Jacobin Club belonged mainly to the less prosperous sections of the society. They were not from the rich family. They included small shopkeepers, artisans such as shoemakers, pastry cooks, watchmakers, printers, as well as servants and daily wage workers. 
Their leader was Maximilian Robespierre. A large group among the Jacobins decided to start wearing long striped trousers similar to those worn by dock workers. Those who work uh, in uh, work on the shipyard or uh, uh, harbor. The new dressing style was adopted in order to separate themselves from the fashionable or rich sections of the society. This was to set themselves apart from the fashionable sections of society, especially nobles who were knee breeches. These Jacobin came to be known as sans culottes, literally meaning those without knee breeches. Sans culottes men wore, in addition to the red cap that symbolized liberty. Women, however, were not allowed to do so. Jacobin club decided to act. In the summer of 1792, the Jacobin planned an insurrection, violent uprising, mutiny or rebellion, an insurrection of a large number of Parisians, those who live in Paris. The Parisians were angry because of the short supply of food. Food was not sufficient for the people who live in Paris at that time. On the morning of August 10th, they stormed the palace of the Tuileries, massacred, killed the king's guards. The king was held as a hostage for several hours. What happened after that? Assembly voted to imprison the royal family. National Assembly voted to imprison the royal family, the family of Louis XVI. Elections were held for the first time in the history of France. All men, only men, all men of 21 years and above, regardless of their wealth, got the right to vote. The newly elected assembly was called the Convention. On 21st September 1792, it abolished made a full stop to monarchy and declared France a republic. What do you mean by republic? In a republican country, the head of the country or the head of the state is elected by the people. What was the fate of Louis XVI? Louis XVI was sentenced to death by a court on the charge of treason. The charge, again, uh, the charge on him was treason, betrayed the country, cheated. How he made a secret negotiation with the king of Prussia and helped the king of Prussia to come and attack France. On 21st January 1793, he was executed, killed publicly at the palace de la Concordie. The fate of his wife. Mary and Donald was same. Mary and Donald met with the same fate shortly afterwards. Hi, my dear children. Hope you have understood this part. You have only one question in this module. That question is about Jacobin Club. Think about the part we explained in our different slides. Try to make the answer in your own words. Thank you.